A YouTuber named Eleven Makeda and their friends are camping in the backyard when they completely lose control of their bonfire. First, they try to put out the blaze with a simple garden hose. When that doesn't work, they try to smother the fire with dirt using shovels. Meanwhile, the flames grow taller and hotter as the fire spreads outwards, threatening to reach a house that's only a short distance away. Also, if it reaches the cornfield behind them, then the fire could quickly cover acres of land. The short five minute video ends before we get a chance to see what happens next. Hopefully they did the right thing and called for firefighters to put an end to the backyard inferno. Otherwise, if they were too afraid of getting in trouble and continued to try and contain it themselves, then it might very have cost somebody their home. Why did the time traveler cross the road to get to the other side of the space-time continuum? Published by Datos Curiosos in October 2021, this cryptic video has me veering off course. The short dashcam video shows a semi ahead driving down the highway. Suddenly it veers to the left right into the next lane, making cars move out of the way in the opposite direction. Soon it becomes clear why. A man materializes out of nowhere as the semi pulls around him. He walks so slowly across the road that the car, far behind the semi, catches up with him. The man is dressed in white and is staring straight ahead, walking in a very upright manner. Stiff is a board. He appears as though he's in a trance and doesn't seem to be phased by what just happened. Who is this man and how did he seemingly appear out of nowhere? Only time will tell. In the meantime, I think something paranormal has to be going on here. Nothing like a good legend to call up some creepy videos. Posted by YouTuber Leonardo Martinez in January of 2016. The video is entitled, El Pombero and El Dorado, Missone's Real. What is El Pombero? According to Latin American legend, the mythological gnome-like figure is rife in the Paraguayan forest, but can be found across southern Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. Pombero is mainly seen at night in rural areas and forests. Holding up in sheds and abandoned structures, he likes to mimic bird sounds, and the inexplicable chirping of birds is said to indicate that Pombero is near. If anyone so much as speaks Pombero's name out loud, he will harass them. Now that you know the myth, let's take a look at this video, which claims to have caught live action footage of the creature. Filmed in the forest, a group of folks are wandering through the trees when, off to the side, something that looks like a short stump starts to move. The figure hobbles in an uncanny way, leaning on a crutch. Needless to say, the people rush off in fear. It certainly looks jarring and uncannily real. If you live in Paraguay, I guess it's time to hide. You don't want to cross pass with this mischief maker. Something giant is swimming fast across Lake Okanagan, Canada. Never breaking the surface for a clear look except for this part at 40 seconds when a fin flaps by. There's not a boat in front of it, so it's not getting towed. It's not a school of fish because I've never seen fish move in a perfectly straight line. It does appear to be one giant underwater creature. This 7.4 magnitude earthquake struck Japan years ago. Earthquakes are common in this part of the world, but what happens next is not. In the distance among the swaying buildings, a bright glow in the night sky, possibly what scientists call an earthquake light. A bright light burns intensely over the city for nearly 10 full seconds before extinguishing as suddenly as it came. The light appears to have caused no damage and was accompanied by no sound. It does not look like it was caused by a blown out transformer or any other kind of equipment. Scientists have documented this type of phenomenon before, known only as earthquake lights, but they don't know what causes them. They occur in less than 1% of earthquakes and have been reported for hundreds of years. A handful of theories exist, but a real explanation has never been proven. All we know for sure is that it creates an eerie light show that witnesses will never forget. Donnie and Leanne share a YouTube channel, and both of them were shocked to catch this freakish figure on their doorbell cam. A girl in a doll mask with deep, cracked, creepy eyes. 
I'm sure you're thinking this is a Halloween video, and so is I, but look at her hands. She has nothing to carry candy in, and no friends or parents are around. Plus, this video was recorded in July of 2019, not October. And look at the time, just before midnight. <laughs> When she rings the doorbell, an old nursery rhyme plays out of nowhere. Some people are saying the music was edited while others think this is real. I agree that, well this is one of the creepiest videos I've seen in a while. Something about it looks staged. Their channel has some videos with their young daughter in it, who is about the same size so it could have been her. Or maybe this is a random stranger, who just wanted to play a joke on her neighbors in the middle of the night and knew exactly what to do to leave them creeped out. If this video doesn't get your heart racing, it certainly did for this guy. His name is Daniel Stanley and he gets so pumped up that he can make his heart do this. Watch this and tell me if you know what medical condition this is called. I couldn't find much information on this person, aside from the name and his reputation for being able to make his heart race so hard, it nearly pops out of his chest. So please fill me in about his life if you happen to know more. A YouTuber named RIS crams himself into a small cement sewer pipe for no other reason than to see how far he can go. As it turns out, the answer is not very far at all. I can't move. Oh. Hopefully drones come inside. Crawling in is always the easy part, but getting out is hard, especially with an oversized helmet that takes up more space. You can see one arm is pinned beneath him, and one arm is holding the camera. Backing out is not going to work in this position, and going forward offers no freedom either. His friends grab his legs, but the way his arm is wedged beneath of him makes him impossible to budge. Oh yes, I'm getting pulled. No, I'm actually stuck. Finally, he maneuvers his other arm out so they both stick out in front of him. They try a final time. He tries to play it off like it's no big deal, but you can hear some real struggling during this part. I think he's about another five minutes away from panicking, so I'm glad they didn't have to call an emergency rescue team to break him free. While an elderly woman was napping, a spirit decided to disturb her sleep. Captured on a home security camera in Singapore, YouTuber Gilbert Chan shares what happens when a ghost wants you to get no rest. Watch the woman's blanket. But that is just the start. After readjusting, the lady goes back to sleep, but not for long. After the air freshener on the table flies across the room before her very eyes, she decides that sleeping isn't on her agenda today. According to the YouTuber, this whole neighborhood is reputed to be cursed, but why bother this poor old woman? My theory is that this spirit doesn't want anyone to get any rest, since he wasn't able to rest in peace. A paranormal crew communicated with numerous unearthly entities in this haunted place. Published by Paranormal Voyages in January of 2022, the crew first records a disembodied voice that they don't seem to hear in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> a moment later, while they're communicating through the spirit box, something appears over one of their shoulders. They then hear what sounds like a scream. The spirits tell one of the crew to move forward. Something's telling me for you to move forward a little more. I 
Oh, what? Whoa, what the heck is that? You hear that? Whoa! Oh. I want to move forward. Later, while using a Kinect, an anomaly is detected. After being bombarded with questions, the spirits have a question for the crew. But why? Oh! No, no, no. Oh no. my Did you hear that whisper? But why? But why? And ask for a baby. Yeah. And we said no, and it goes, but why? While they continue to communicate, one of the crew feels a sharp pain in his heart. What? Jeez. Hardest, I heard. Yeah, I think. <laughs> that was like a sharp pain. Back with the Kinect, another anomaly makes its presence known. What do all these spirits want with the living? Maybe if we listen closely, we'll hear it. A YouTuber named Unexpectedly is documenting his exploration of an old military facility. The abandoned building has reportedly since become a setting for an underground cult to perform strange and bizarre rituals, which he wants to learn more about. Daylight does not make this place any less terrifying as he crosses through hallways covered in cult warnings and symbols. Judging from this room and others like it, it seems as though the rumors are true. He stops to investigate a square panel on the floor that matches a hole in the ceiling. It gives him a bad feeling and I wouldn't be surprised if he was being watched closely from this hiding spot. A few minutes later, he's standing in the very middle of the structure and there's a little light here. That's when he hears rustling footsteps nearby. The footsteps cease soon and he finds another hole in the ceiling. It's almost like somebody is using these above ground tunnels as a way to stay one step ahead of him. Everything grows quiet and still once again. For some reason, a far door grabs his attention. You don't get to see them very clearly, but what appears to be a large hooded figure is standing on the other side. Whether this is scripted, paranormal, or a cult is up for you to decide. I am just glad he was near an exit and made it out alive. What if we are living in a simulation? Cross posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the cross poster says, suggests that this is visual proof that the universe is updating now. The video footage shows a spinning wheel of light in the sky, the type you see on your computer screen when the system is buffering. The wheel is seen at a distance and then close up. The short clip offers no explanation, leaving redditors to reach the most extreme conclusions. Maybe they're just looking to get some of that McDonald's. YouTubers The Proper People published this exploration of an abandoned psychiatric hospital in April of this year, 2018. The psych hospital was built in the 1800s for poor folks who couldn't afford healthcare and has been abandoned for more than two decades. The place certainly looks old. Whole pieces of wallpaper are chipping from the walls. Below the hospital are tunnels connecting to the surrounding buildings. The crew didn't enter the tunnels because unlike the psychiatric hospital, those buildings are still in use, but they did come upon a fallout shelter. Many of the rooms they come across are empty. Some are locked, making the crew and their viewers curious about what's inside. But perhaps the most curious rooms are those with piles of the psych's hospital supplies and equipment. Chairs, tables, walkers, buckets, mattresses all thrown together in one place. They even encounter an old green tub with an adjacent seat used to lift disabled patients in for bathing. And further on, they arrive at half of an elevator car. For some reason, there's something so unsettling about an open elevator shaft and an elevator not where it's supposed to be, Michael says. It gives you a bad feeling. Well, Michael, this whole place gives us a bad feeling, so I'm going to stay as far away from that hospital as possible. If you've lost a loved one, you might sometimes feel that their spirit is still with you. And if you're anything like TikTok or E to the R to the ICA, 
You might find video proof that this is actually true. Erica R. 1971 posted this ghostly video to the site writing, So my security picked this up tonight. My dad passed on November 26, and I wonder if it's him. The footage shows a ghostly figure pass by, floating casually past the security camera. The figure is white and vapor-like, appearing across the scene from right to left. If Erica is right, and this is in fact her father's spirit, what is he trying to tell her? Does he just want to comfort her by making his presence known? It does not look like CGI to me, so I think this video is 100% real. In Erica's place, would you feel comforted by a ghost? A YouTuber named The Legends TV is exploring a tunnel at 3 a.m. when he comes across a stenciled message on the wall. It's a rant about someone who doesn't want to take their medicine or live in a hospital anymore, perhaps made by someone who escaped an institution and now lives down here. To further support this theory, they find a lone baby doll laying in the dirty water, and tucked under the doll's arm is a steel blade. For all I know, this could be a trap set by someone who is not right in the head. They go only a little deeper and find this red clump of what appears to be matted hair stuck to the wall, almost like someone's scalp. While house sitting for his aunt, Reddit user Notel4117 saw something on a nanny cam that freaked him out. First, he shows us the room in question. So this is my aunt's son's room, right? There's no one in here, right? Nothing. Then he shows us what he saw. Right on the monitor here. Tell me that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. Like. Does it look like something standing in the room to you? Like I've I've checked, like went back and forth three times, and I <sighs> he even does a side by side to try and make sense of it. So okay, nothing, right? Like what? He then sets up the monitor, grabs a ball from another room, and throws it in there to see if anything changes on the monitor. Okay, alright. There is definitely something in there. The mysterious figure is still there. Many in the comments think the T-Rex and other items in the room may be casting shapes that create the shadow figure's form. Like others in the thread, I'm thinking it's probably a shitty nanny cam that doesn't capture shadows in their subtleties. So many objects in the room are coming together to make what looks like a figure. After all, the camera did make the T-Rex look like a terrifying baby. Bloopers are more than just laughs. Published in October of 2012, what is that 09 writes, I was recording my brother for his school project and he was looking back through the bloopers. And then he noticed this thing. As the boy practices his speech, a dog on the couch behind him is playing with the blinds. Look closely over the boy's shoulder. A creepy creature appears in the darkness as the blinds open. The creature's bizarre face looks humanoid but somewhat extraterrestrial. Go. The vine we chose was the taiga border forest, which is located in Russia, northern Canada, and it's peering in at them. What is this thing? The uploader notes, to where the thing's head was at, had to be five feet tall, because that's how high the window is. Is this creature stalking them? Or is it one of the boy's peers, trying to cheat on his school project? A YouTuber named Conman165 has a somewhat scary moment on his gaming stream while talking about wrestling, something he thinks could be a possible ghost sighting caught on webcam. During the match, like you know what I mean? Like. 
Did anybody else just see that? A small ghost orb moves his way and disappears. And if you look closely, the ghost orb blinks a little before it hits the middle of the door and goes away. I'm not saying that this ghost orb couldn't be dust. I'm just saying that nothing else like it appeared for the rest of the stream. And it's obviously something he's not used to seeing either based on his reaction. I saw like this white line run and just like fall down back here. That was weird. Hopefully Conman165 will keep us updated if any other creepy stuff happens. Do you choreograph TikTok dances? If so, you'd better skip this one. Published to YouTube by Unknown Barbados in April of 2020, this video will have you checking over your shoulder the next time you gear up to press record. The video shows a woman dancing outside a brick building with a darkened hallway behind her. As she dances like nobody's watching, unbeknownst to her, someone is. Look over her shoulder as she does her moves. This woman is not alone. Someone with long dark hair and a pale face that's unusually blurred peers from behind her for a split second before vanishing back into the shadows. A nightmare specter spectator if I ever saw one. What would you do if you saw this in one of your TikTok posts? Probably would be the end of your TikToking career. Shawnee Explores takes a Ouija board into the forest and places it just outside of a haunted cottage where a man took the life of his spouse. It isn't long before his electromagnetic frequency reader starts going crazy, so he and his friends know they are in the right place and set up the board. Soon they are channeling the spirit of a small boy who only refers to himself by the initials SF. They ask the boy for his age and some other questions, but apparently it's only interested in trying to warn them about a hidden danger, R-U-N it spells, so they get out of there fast without properly ending the ceremony. When Shawnee Explores remembers that he needs to select goodbye or risk becoming possessed, he discovers that he can't move the pointer without an extreme amount of force. It's almost as if something is not letting him move. You can see the pointer barely moving despite Shawnee pressing very hard, but I guess he could be pressing straight down instead of forward to create this illusion. I think this video is probably real, but I can't tell for sure so give me your best guess and let's figure it out together. This Colombian video from 2008 is apparently the last footage taken by four men that disappeared, found inside an abandoned car. The footage shows the men driving towards a strange person dressed in all white, possibly a wedding dress. They slowly approach the person and attempt to drive around them, and that's where the video ends. What happens next is a complete mystery, since this was the only footage found. Skeptics have been unable to debunk this video or find the whereabouts of the disappeared men that were mentioned. It appears whoever was standing on the road that night will remain a mystery. There are rumors of a small cult living on a forgotten side road somewhere by the Baltimore Turnpike just off Route 1. A YouTuber named Dragon Lafferty claims to know its exact location and has uploaded proof. It isn't long before him and his friends pass another vehicle, which turns around and starts tailgating them at high speeds. Coming right up on us too. Ouch. Ouch. Yep. <laughs> Yay! We're being chased! <laughs> The car continues to come at them down the winding road way too fast, alternating between high beams and total darkness all the while. Dragon Lafferty and his friends nervously play off the chase like it's no big deal, but I can tell that they are nervous. The cult member eventually disengages upon reaching the main road. Everyone is lucky to have made it out alive, but then they have a very bad idea. I don't, I don't know what would happen if we stopped. People said they'd do it, but they never said, like, what happened. Their last update was more than eight years ago, so maybe they followed through with their plan and were never heard from again. Daniel lives way out in the country, and rather than paying someone to remove the leaves around his house, he chooses to burn them instead. He stands at the edge of a controlled fire and takes this quick video. <laughs> Oh yeah, a lot far. Oh yeah, a lot far. Off the distance, 
A two-legged creature about the same size as Daniel sprints away in the opposite direction as fast as it can. Keep in mind that Daniel lives out in the Oklahoma wilderness and has no neighbors. I really can't think of any forest animal that looks like this, so maybe the controlled burn accidentally flushed out a rare humanoid creature. With no other footage of the creature, we will probably never know what it truly is. In 2014, Paranormal Lana created her channel, and it soon became one of the fastest growing channels in the scary community. Her channel had reached over 50,000 subscribers, until on a September day in 2015, her channel vanished without a trace or reason. Since then, theories have abounded online about what caused her disappearance. Though some think she just became bored with the platform, a more disturbing theory has picked up interest. Shortly before her disappearance, she posted the following on social media. Had a pretty scary stalking incident, so unfortunately I'm having to change the way I run my social media. No more Facebook. Since then, many have wondered if this stalker had a part in her disappearance. It's certainly plausible, but since there has been no update since 2015, we will never know for sure. A scary video by Annie Magic has gone viral in Russia because of how much creepy stuff is in it, beginning with a black plastic trash bag found while exploring an abandoned house late at night. What's inside confuses her as much as it does frighten. <laughs> It sounds like she says look, but it probably means something different in Russian. So tell me what this handwritten message really says. She looks up in time to see a car stop and drive off. It's strange to see anyone out here at all, let alone so late at night. And so she goes to where the vehicle last was. The grass is wet and cold underfoot, and it soaks through her shoes. It takes her a great while to get there, and then, much to her dismay, she finds what's been left behind. The car drives slow, headlights off, the brights flip when she's within grabbing distance. She runs for her life and must have gotten away because she has uploaded since then. I'm not sure if this video is scripted or not. She hasn't gone exploring any abandoned houses for years now, which makes me think this scary experience could be real. Proving Demons writes, On our paranormal investigation at a haunted hotel, we capture a real shadow person hat man on video. Are you wondering what a hat man is? Let Dana Matthews from the site Weak and Weird explain the phenomena. According to Matthews, shadow men came creeping out of the shadows in 2011 when paranormal radio personality Art Bell cast a light into the darkness on his radio show Coast to Coast AM, and the result was a burgeoning community of people coming forward, explaining their encounters with these phenomena. Out of this shadow people phenomena, another slightly different experience arose, encounters with the Hat Man. Much like shadow people, the Hat Man often appears at nighttime, wearing a wide-brimmed hat, hence the name. Those who encounter him have described him as a solid black mass, darker than a shadow without discernible facial features, and no describable lower body. Apart from a long flowing trench coat, the Hat Man is often seen floating and moves without sound, quite frequently in a basement setting. Another quality of this phenomena is that the Hat Man tends to appear in places of high negative energy and family dysfunction. This video shows either a hat man or shadow figure haunting this generally creepy house. The figure flies down a hallway, disappearing into a distant room as the ghost investigators search the house's interior. So what's going inside this house? Is it haunted? The hat man phenomena is often a recurring one for many people, from childhood to adulthood. Some believe shadow people are evil, like physical medium Amy Allen, who thinks they are interdimensional entities. Although the hat man and the shadow person might seem one and the same, they do indeed appear to be two separate entities. If you see a hat man, consider your family dynamics and the energy of your relationships. Does this video make you believe in hat men and shadow figures? 
If so, don't turn around. A YouTuber named Doritos Reaction is doing a 24-hour challenge in a relatively normal-looking hotel, except it's supposedly haunted by the spirits of numerous children. Now, while wandering around the hallways late at night, he wants to see if the rumors are true, and apparently he gets his wish. Was that a kid? Dorito manages to catch the dark silhouette of a boy running down the hallway at full speed. Notice how the boy's footsteps don't make a sound as he sprints away. Dorito rushes back to the elevator, only to find the doors opening and closing on their own, so he takes the stairs back to his room instead and doesn't leave for the rest of the night. I think this may have been one of his friends pretending to be a ghost, but then again, I'd like to get your thoughts. A YouTuber named Joey Concialdi is joking around with his friend when he pretends to dive under the covers to be silly. As he is doing so, the thin bizarre outline of a scrawny shadow person is seen behind him for a split second, and by the time he comes back up, it's gone. Joey is certain that this ghost sighting is real, but I'm wondering if it was just the banister seen a few seconds later. It looks to be in a different position and not as dark, and therefore probably was not it. A customer reaches for a drink when he begins to shake and sputter out of control. It looks like it could be a seizure, but he does not fall down right away, so some people say it's a possession. At the 48 second mark, he points to something only he can see and begins shrieking in horror. This is when he goes down a second time and does not come back up. One minute and five seconds into the video, you can see a ghostly figure in the reflection to his left that could be the spirit of his aggressor. Paper towels fly to the ground on their own shortly after in a further indication of paranormal possession. Connor Biddle and India Hopwood are a ghost hunting team who travels to different haunted locations in search of paranormal encounters, which coincidentally is the name of their channel on YouTube. Born in Indiana, Connor released a full-length paranormal documentary in 2012 and has never stopped investigating. His partner, India, moved to South Carolina from England and has been visiting haunted locations since she was 10 and began heading investigations as a teenager. They have nearly two decades of combined experience dealing with the afterlife between them and a lot of interesting evidence to share. This time they find themselves in Withville, Virginia to explore the infamous Octagon Mansion. I am in the Octagon Mansion. Alone. The only thing I can see is what's on this night vision camera. Built in 1870, the Octagon Mansion, or the Roundhouse as some call it, has a relatively unexplained haunted history. Many families lived here over its 100 plus year history, and it was also a few different businesses for a while, none of which lasted for some reason. The town itself once experienced a viral outbreak that took over 100 lives, and this may have tainted with Phil with many restless spirits. With that said, it should come as no surprise that a little host girl is said to be on the second second floor, especially considering the outbreak targeted kids. As Connor is exploring the first floor, his camera goes out of focus a second before he senses something nearby. There's nothing to make it go out of focus, and yet the background changes as if someone is standing right in front of him. Is there anybody here? And it stays blurry like this for 11 full seconds before snapping back into focus for no reason at all. And this noise happens a few seconds after coming into focus, almost like an invisible left the shot and went into a different room. The soft knocking is repeated again when he leaves a doll out for the girl to play with and pay attention to the exact location of the doll because that's going to matter in just a second. But for now, it sounds like the girl might be coming downstairs to give the toy a closer look. 
So the doll is positioned in front of the furthest right window here at 2 minutes and 27 seconds, but at 4 minutes and 45 seconds, it's now by the far left window with its arms raised to its mouth like it's afraid. Now Connor says he isn't sure if the doll moved, or if it was just the camera angle. I think it definitely moved, but the fact that he doesn't rush to take credit makes me respect his work that much more. On a different night, Connor and India think they record a spirit named Nina. Does this sound like a person or electronic interference? I respect that India is able to keep composure. My reaction was more like Connor's. She must have really seen a lot as a ghost hunter for this not to bother her. Anyway, this sounds like a scream of pure agony in my opinion. There's not any hatred in the voice, just pain. Perhaps a final scream from the girl upstairs. And if you didn't think the last sound was human, this one definitely is a woman's cry. India is able to translate quite easily. I believe it really does say hey here like she says. Hey, it's okay again. And the reason I believe it is because the ghost says hey again. As for physical sightings, this is the best piece of evidence Connor has to offer. It's all real. Every bit of it. This 2012 video, taken in Bourbon, Indiana, in the attic of an old pizza place that used to be an apartment building, highlights a strange anomaly hovering against the wall. It doesn't look like the beam of a flashlight because, aside from not being round, there's no ray of light connecting it to a source. And when the white outline moves off the wall, it does not change size or shape like a flashlight would, instead staying completely the same as it traverses the darkness. Bryce Newbold describes this Ohio hiking experience through the Shawnee State Forest is a very rough trip, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why. It's a hot summer's day, and he has many miles ahead. By four miles, he is drenched and walks about half a mile to drink from the river. His next source of water won't be until nightfall, and by then, he will have walked 12 miles. By the second day, he is feeling unusually miserable and drained, and decides to take a shorter route. I am absolutely covered in either little tiny ticks or chiggers, they're probably chiggers. They are all over me right now. I tried washing them off, but I mean, I'm gonna have to go through and pick them off one by one, it looks like. He's looking pretty pale by the end of the day, even though he's been getting plenty of sun. That's because poor Bryce has been getting his legs chewed off by tiny ticks that won't give up, and by the end of the day, it's looking pretty bad. And I have a million bites from those little chiggers last night. You can see they're still on there. By the time he gets back home, his legs and feet are covered in marks. I'm not a doctor, but I definitely would be going to one soon if I were him. That looks really bad and I think it's probably time for a test or two to make sure you didn't get anything from them. I really hope he's okay and that nothing like this ever happens to him again. Night has fallen and Franco TV is re-exploring this potentially haunted cemetery in Florida. Four signs of the paranormal. He doesn't even get through the front door before his flashlight mysteriously stops working, which is exactly what happened when he's come here before, so I think it's probably real. My mag light is not working. It isn't long before he's hearing scary noises and seeing strange shadows that do not belong to him. Eventually, he adds a second night vision camera that he hopes to catch a ghost with. After hearing more creepy noises coming from all over, he focuses across the cemetery and finally captures something weird on camera. I literally just heard a noise down here. In a dark room appears to be a ghostly figure, a woman in a chair with her back turned. The possible apparition does not say anything or react to the light being shined directly on her, which is beyond creepy. By the time he reaches the dark room, it's empty once again. No objects have been moved and the chair is still facing the same direction, like no one was ever there to begin with. 
Yet Franco is not convinced that he is alone, and rightfully so. I keep freaking hearing stuff out here. The ghost and the ghost hunter continue to play a game of haunted hide and seek until Franco has one last ghost sighting while walking around the perimeter of the cemetery. Hello? Ma'am. Do you need help? Do you need help? She doesn't say a word at him, but this time she does look over twice and then back at a marker, possibly her own. When she turns to him, you can just barely see the outline of a scary face. It almost looks like she has empty hollow sockets for eyes. Yeah. Not doing that. Now here's what I don't understand. Franco finally gets what could be a real ghost sighting on camera, and all he has to do is walk a few meters to get one of the clearest videos of a ghost up close. He could finally be the ghost hunter who proves once and for all that paranormal spirits are real, and yet he just walks away in the opposite direction. I guess he must have been really creeped out to turn down this once in a lifetime opportunity to prove that ghost sightings are real, or maybe this was somebody pretending to be a ghost. Tell me which one you think it was. What are these strange so-called light balls that keep setting this Redditor's cameras off? Redditor Spambone is wondering if the Reddit community has any theories. Well, let's see what we can come up with as well. Let's take a look. This goes on for two minutes. Sometimes two light bulbs appear simultaneously. Some say it's obviously a bug. Others think it's a web of some kind. Still, others say it's a laser pointer or a reflection of some other light source. Practically, no one thinks this is an orb or paranormal in any way. And neither do I. I'm firmly in the spider or cobweb camp. What do you think it is? What happens when you find a GoPro with found footage? More Bad Ideas published this video of his findings in July of 2017. The video starts with a YouTuber mounting a motorbike that he's going to take for a spin. After about 10 minutes of riding footage, cut to the footage on this GoPro he discovered. When he opens the GoPro, a piece of paper falls out. It reads GORB56546434, a password. He plugs this password in and he finds his nightmares on video. First shown is a masked being, creepy as ever. Next is this mannequin like figure moving sporadically towards the camera, with creepy carnival music playing in the background. The next is a young man holding a skull talking about how you have to make sure it's the real thing in order for someone to pay good money for it. Then, back to the masked being. This is when the YouTuber shuts the video down and wipes the memory card clean. Many in the comments think this video is cursed. Do you feel differently after watching it? During a mid-morning flight from Canada over the Appalachian Mountains in October of 2010, this passenger captured something mysterious from the air. Watch carefully. Can you see the reflections of light in the clouds? There also appears to be a disc-like shape that emerges from the clouds at the lower half of the screen. Watch again closely. Is this a genuine, unidentified flying object caught on camera? If not, what do you think this could possibly be? Multiple cameras capture a UFO hovering over Jerusalem in 2011. The small moving ball of light glides over the building tops for a while, and then does a dazzling aerial maneuver that no human aircraft could ever possibly replicate. <laughs> Yo! 
Yo, Yo! Rod, I would think this is CGI, but the same event was reportedly witnessed by numerous people who don't know each other. In this second video, you can see the ball of light is over the same domed building as the before and abruptly flies straight up. I will admit that the UFO in the first video looks a little different than the UFO in the second video, but I think the first video was recorded with a digital camera and the second was recorded with a cell phone from almost a decade ago, so that would explain the visual discrepancies. Would you invite yourself into a demon's home? Published by Toppy in December of 2021, that's what this ghost hunter did and he would live to regret it. He quickly realizes he is not alone. After hearing faint footsteps on the floor above, he sets up his camera in the darkness. That's when this happens. <coughs> Later, he is trying to communicate with the poltergeist and he receives an answer. Will he heed the spirit's warning? No, he will not, and the demon doesn't like it. Would you stay a minute longer inside this haunted place? A minute seems too long to me. This video was supposedly taken in South Africa in April of 2013. Some tourists are fishing when something huge instantly snaps their industrial strength fishing line without any effort. Shortly thereafter, it comes straight for their boat. Water floods the vessel and according to the uploader, the video was later somehow recovered and salvaged. As for the boat, investigators thought that perhaps a whale had tried to jump over it and failed. It was the only creature, they said, that was large enough to cause that amount of destruction, except, of course, for a megalodon shark. After experiencing a slew of paranormal activity at the Randolph County Asylum in Winchester, Indiana, Billy Gerber, a custodian, began recording every shift. One day, he is sweeping the basement when this noise fills the room. Do you believe him after watching this? Also, check out how a shadow passes directly over him as soon as the voice says, help me. It's there for a split second, then gone. The next time you look into your baby monitor, you might find an unnerving guardian angel. That's what happened to a friend of XX Blaze and XX who posted this clip to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor writes in the comments, A friend of mine had recently put her child to bed, and she has gone through every single thought of how to justify this figure, but it looks like a little child walking in and around the crib. By the time log on the baby monitor, you you can see it's around 9.40 p.m. and if you look closely, you'll catch a ghost white shadow figure walk around the back of the crib as the baby sleeps on. The figure creeps around one side of the crib before pacing back to the head of the crib and coming slightly around the other side. Then it moves back. At the end of the clip, it appears most visible, leaving its sentient spot, probably in order to make itself a sandwich. What was this phantom caretaker doing? Do you think it's a friendly guardian or does the babysitter have evil intent? Whatever the case, safeguard that baby. It's better to be safe than sorry. There are mysterious happenings that can be explained and others to which there is no answer. Guess which one this mystery is? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by EBB Puzzleheaded and originally published to YouTube by Daniel Robb. In May of 2020, these screams in the Texan night sky are sure to set your hair on end. In the clip, the uploader explains that there's a sound in the distance, screaming that seems to be coming from the sky, and you can regularly hear the eerie screech off and on for nearly 8 minutes. What is that bizarre sound? 
The uploader Daniel Robb says this happened between 8.30 and 9.30 p.m. and that it sounded like a banshee, followed by several voices whooping. He says the sound filled the entire night sky. Others in the comments agree that it's demonic or banshee-esque, citing the end of times. Redditor I have no purpose in life notes that the screams occur, alongside the lightning strikes and wonders if they might be interconnected. I guess we may never know the actual answer. The Rolling Hills Asylum in East Bethany, New York is weird. Really weird. So weird that it's classified as a paranormal research center now for ghost hunters. Liam Neville is exploring the haunted asylum when something strange and maybe paranormal catches his attention. This is what he's caught on camera and what's been haunting his memories ever since. Played in slow motion and you'll see that his flashlight is off when they see the mysterious light in the hall. Liam and his friend are simultaneously frozen in place with fear and ecstatic. I saw a figure at the end of the hall. So did I! Oh wow. my I definitely God. saw that. Yo, you saw that? Yeah. They claim to see a shadow figure in the hallway and I think I might see it. 59 seconds into the video. What do you think? Yo. Yo. Siblings sing happy birthday to the camera for someone who lives far away. When they finish, one of them says something at 19 seconds that sounds like she might say mama. I don't know what she said, but mentioning her mother drops the mirror straight to the floor. And look, a pale apparition caught on camera in the reflection of the mirror before it happens. This video is probably edited, but if not, it looks like a paranormal entity has a problem with this family, or at least the mom. Strange and mysterious sounds are coming from a hole in the ground that sounds like a hidden entrance to another world. These scary noises sound like some kind of evil ocean and makes me wonder if water is nearby. With that said, I did notice that these strange noises were caught on camera during a windy day. So I'm hoping this is actually just wind rushing through some kind of construction tunnel for a pipe or something, and not a scary, hissing creature. Bree Calderon gets an alert from his home security system. The motion sensor camera has caught some weird things on tape over his table. Meanwhile, a small light is by the door that he can't explain. According to Bree, the ghost is moving towards an urn off camera that contains the cremated remains of his grandmother. That would be terrifying, but there's no way to tell if any part of the story is actually true. With that said, the strange mist might actually be some small picture distortion, but this visual glitch wouldn't be enough to set off the motion detector. Basically, I can't fully explain this video, so this might actually be paranormal. Do you hear that haunting melody? It may be the vocalizations of an actual ghost. <sighs> Posted by Charger3933 to the Ghosts subreddit. This clip captures a ghostly song in the abandoned asylum, Eloise Psychiatric Hospital in Michigan, which we've discussed at length in previous Top 15s. Charger notes in the comments that he did not hear the singing during the visit, only afterwards when he listened back to the recording. The Redditor was wandering around the abandoned asylum with a friend when he heard disembodied footsteps coming up the stairs. As he tried to capture the footsteps via a Snapchat video, he heard screaming from a distance. 
He saved the video and later heard the haunting singing as well. Redditor Wubbelubbadubbadidu in the comments writes, Obviously, we have to take the audio with a grain of salt because it's possible someone was hidden in the building. That being said, I hear the screams and sleep freaky AF. The same Redditor later notes in the thread that the uploader basically caught an EVP. He also remarks that he too hears the footsteps or something moving nearby. The uploader states that he tried to stay as still as possible and that he would also consider this an EVP as he did not hear the singing in real time. Redditor quite fast agrees that the singing sounds like a lullaby. The Redditor tried to isolate the woman's voice and added a clearer clip to the thread. <laughs> The humming voice sounds even spookier with the audio cleared up and it's quite fast notes. You can almost hear the words safe and sound. Do you feel safe and sound after watching this video? A YouTuber named Danny's World records scary noises in the woods at night. A fierce five minute struggle between two animals outside of his house. This way. I'm not sure if this is real or not because at no point does he turn his camera light on, which is strange. Maybe he doesn't want to attract the attention of whatever this mysterious creature is. He's talking about how this sounds like no creature he's ever heard before in the woods of South Carolina. It sounds to me like this could be a rake sighting, especially at 2 minutes and 48 seconds when it apparently imitates a person whining for help. There's so much wildlife here in South Carolina, it's hard to tell. This is not it. What the? Or maybe it's simply editing. A YouTuber named Maximus and his friends are playing with a Ouija board in the shed. At first, they can't stop goofing around for long enough to take it seriously. But as time goes on, they start to concentrate more on the board and less on making jokes. Are you there? Maybe lift your arms up. Why? Because it... What? <laughs> Yo, what? No, that was you. Is that not you? No. They laugh wildly to cover up the mounting tension as they realize a ghost might actually be near. Unlike most of the videos, nothing happens for a long time and the pointer stays completely still. They go back to making sarcastic jokes until another event gives them pause. Are you standing next to Frank Tilton? Are you Frank Tilton? When was he born? Stop playing. Stop. Oh my god! No way! That actually like fell! They are still acting like they don't care very much, but they decide to leave the shed just in case something is watching them. There's something about this video and their excitedly skeptical reactions that seems very genuine to me. In the midst of the desert, this hole is hiding something. TikToker Sicaria L98 shares this mysterious video. Happening upon a deep dark pit in the middle of the desert is a mystery in and of itself, but the sounds coming from its depths take this mystery to the next level. Hum. It sounds to me like shrieking cats, but others suggest these are the chilling wails of those who have passed on. Is this a portal to the fiery depths below? If so, seal that thing back up ASAP. This footage comes from a hotel camera in New York that's near Niagara Falls. Shane Sovar is a hotel manager who claims to have seen a large triangular UFO shoot past by his window one night. An on-duty hotel security officer backs up this claim and says that he saw it too. They contact an amateur UFO group called the Aerial Phenomenon Investigations Team who does a standard investigation and leaves. Things get very odd soon after. Around two weeks after the aerial phenomenon was finished their investigation, a pair of men dressed in all black suits reportedly entered the hotel and began to interrogate witnesses for more information. They specifically wanted to know where Shane and the hotel security guard could be found. Shane said that people who had spoken with the men later told him how strange they looked. They were tall, pale, had no eyebrows or eyelashes, and basically looked exactly 
exactly the same. They had especially large and unsettling eyes, and one woman told Shane that she felt like they were able to read her mind. Whether these two men were simply businessmen on vacation or actual government agents is anyone's guess, but Shane swears that he is telling the truth, exactly what the team of UFO investigators had found during their investigation, along with whatever these men were looking for, has never been released to the public. A suspicious looking man is all eyes as he creeps up to a luxury hotel room in India. At 22 seconds, the intruder looks into the window and contemplates doing something terrible to whoever's inside. His hand goes up to his mouth like he's uncertain. Maybe he is having a change of heart, but more realistically he's probably noticing how many cameras there are in this hotel and finding someplace else. Even though he doesn't follow through, this is probably one of the creepiest looking disguises I've seen someone wear. I can only imagine how terrified hotel workers were when whoever was inside complained and they checked the cameras only to see floating eyes. Hopefully he never comes back. The adventurer Abdullah al Anbari goes exploring an abandoned building in Saudi Arabia in search of a poltergeist or a jinn as it's referred to in the area. There are many floors to explore and each one holds horrors of its own. <laughs> He turns around to see a mysterious figure that could be a jinn or more likely the shadow of the banister in front of it. He continues to explore and the paranormal activity continues to stay one step ahead of him. Ghost keeps throwing objects at him, guiding him in a way towards a final confrontation that he is not ready to witness. He looks up in time to capture a glimpse of a scary round face peering down at him. Tell me what he says to it on his way out. Whatever he says seems to cause him much anger based on what happens next. He quickly leaves before the spirit becomes any more upset. Michael Luongo catches a shapeless form floating around his basement that he can't explain. You can see it best during the first five seconds of the video when one half stands out against the stabs. It's also barely visible in the reflection of the television here at 10 seconds. And when Michael turns back at the stairs, it's already gone. I'm thinking that there might be something wrong with the camera to make this blurry object appear. But then again, it does happen to be floating right above this access panel behind the sofa. So maybe Michael should open it up and see if anything is waiting for him in the wall. In July of 2015, the student paranormal investigation team caught some inexplicably strange and mysterious activity on camera while exploring the Yorktown Memorial Hospital in Texas. Yeah, that's scary. Especially if we go there. How did we not see this when we were down here? See? That's what we didn't come this way. What? Oh, cars. Yeah, we at 40 seconds, they see a large eye of a mysterious figure high in the doorway that retreats as soon as they turn around. They face the entrance to this dark room. The camera blurs, a sign that something paranormal is near. More mysterious things happen when they go exploring inside of this place in the abandoned, haunted Yorktown Memorial Hospital. No way. No way. Dude, there's no wind in here. Is that you moving the ball? That can't be. In the windowless room, a ghostly presence seems to make itself known. Then the ball stops moving. 
The camera blurs again and the strangeness ramps up further. They can't be. Was it even in the center like that? Hear that? Is that ball still moving? And it stopped. Look at that. You see that? More paranormal activity is caught on their camera. Scary sounds in the next room. They try to get more evidence, but it seems whatever paranormal forces were in this room are done freaking them out for the night. The student paranormal investigation team cannot explain what in the video could make the ball move besides a ghost. They swear there was no draft in that strange and mysterious hospital room. The Shadows Are Coming For You, published by ILM and Bono Paranormal in July of 2021. This creepy clip shows you are never as alone as you think. A man is walking through an abandoned building and his camera scans the room. Look carefully in the window pane. A shadow figure passes by, outlined against the glass. It's unclear if the figure is outside walking past or inside being reflected, but all I do know is the cameraman has company. If I were him, I'd be getting out of there ASAP. Hardly anyone wants to see a clown at the best of times. Guaranteed, no one wants to see an uninvited clown on their doorstep. Published to YouTube in August of 2019, this creepy clown is everyone's unwelcome guest. Residents of San Antonio, Texas, likely double-check their locks after video of this creepy visitor was captured on ring surveillance footage. The clown was said to be loitering outside people's homes in the middle of the day saying trick or treat. Again, it was August at the time. The ring footage captures the man wearing a clown mask approaching a home around 1 p.m. The anonymous homeowner wasn't present at the time of the clown's visit. The security video was shared to neighborhood groups, sending a collective chill down everyone's spine. Resident Ernest Marquez sums up the fear saying, What his intentions were, I don't know. The uncertainty, the unknown is everyone's greatest fear. Hopefully this case was broken before it was too late. Giant moving vat is supposed to pour molten steel into a receiving chamber where it can be cooled and molded. This receiving must already be full though because the red hot liquid quickly boils over and the intense heat causes a huge chain reaction. Liquid steel now blankets the floor as the vat continues to do its automated job, sending more of the lava-like substance spraying everywhere. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, you can see two scared factory workers emerge from their hiding spot around the corner, where they must have been the entire time. They are extremely lucky to be alive. One whiff of the toxic steam would be enough to singe their lungs. Number Move over Cujo. This real life pet cemetery is even scarier than the book. Posted to YouTuber by Adventures with Christian in October of 2018. The uploader provides a bit of historical background to the scene of this haunting video. According to him, this unofficial pet cemetery in Boulder City is the most haunted in the world. Why? He writes, Many people claim that there are mafia victims secretly buried there, other than the names on the headstones, which may have faded away. There is no record of the animals buried there. The YouTuber visits the pet cemetery at night, when it's at its creepiest. At the entrance is a sign noting that pet burials are prohibited there. According to him, the pet cemetery opened in 1931, located 20 miles from Vegas. It's potentially a mobster's paradise. In the 25-minute video, Christian explores the graveyard, looking for all elusive ghosts of animals and people alike. About 20 minutes in, he comes across a dugout grave. You can see the corner of a wooden coffin inside. About 22 minutes in, he hears something in the cemetery, although what it is isn't caught on camera. What in the world? What? 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 Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the world? Oh. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm done. He says he's done and hightails it out of there. The camera then captures a hooded man walking past, right in the line of the flashlight, prompting him to really hurry. 
It's later revealed that the cameraman was just a character, but that doesn't make this place any less creepy. Currently, pets are laid to rest in this cemetery, including that of the famous film star dog Rin Tin Tin. If you'd like to lay flowers on his grave, this video is a cautionary tale. Don't do it at night. This video of a shaky, alien-looking pod looks like it really shouldn't exist anywhere on planet Earth, let alone some random person's basement. The way it moves from left to right without being touched makes me think that some strange life form is about to burst forth. Most of the comments agree that this could be some sort of egg or cocoon with a foreign host inside. Note how strange furry hair seems to protrude from sections of its hardened exterior, further indicating that this is in fact a living organism of some kind. The video ends before we can see what hatches, but whatever it is, I just hope it isn't something that is harmful. It's not often you see two trains so close on the same track occurring near Smith Falls in Ontario, Canada in 1992. The footage shows a passenger train that needed to hit the emergency brakes while en route to Toronto. The passenger train appears to be traveling at a fairly fast speed when a stationary freight train comes into view down the track. As the commuter has little time to slow, the engineer stumbles out of the locomotive cab. In the meantime, the freighter backs up slowly while the commuter train has managed to break hard enough to come to a complete stop right in the nick of time. The approach left no more than six feet between the locomotives, a close call that makes little to no sense as to why or how it happened. a man or a monster posted to TikTok by Club de Dos Canito One. I think it might be both. I'm personally not sure what to make of this clip, but most folks in the comments are making references to Spider-Man. I agree with them on one point. This does look a little like a man morphing into a spider. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.